In this demonstration, we'll view the Configuration Manager Console. Configuration Manager Console is my primary utility for administering my site system. It's based off the System Center suite of products, so all of the products look fairly similar. Uh, what we have to start with is up at the top here, we have our ribbon bar. And the purpose of the ribbon bar is it contains any actions that we can perform on currently selected objects. These actions are also available by right clicking on an object. So if I just come into Devices, for example, highlight a device and right click. As we can see, we have some actions here as well. Then what we have is we have our navigation pane. The navigation pane is this bit here on the left. And the navigation pane is the main navigation area, contains the nodes that make up the selected workspace, and we can perform certain tasks again by either right clicking on the object itself, as we've done here with LON-CL1, or we can also select the ribbon bar as well. If we then come down in the bottom left hand corner, what we have here is we have the workspaces. And the workspaces are navigation tools that help us navigate quickly through the different management areas. And as we can see, we have four. Assets and Compliance allows me to look after my assets, my assets being users or devices, and also as well the compliancy of those users or devices. Then what we have is we have our software library, and our software library allows us to manage applications, software updates, operating systems, allows us to look after Windows 10 as a service. We also have our Office 365 and our scripts. We then have our monitoring workspace, and our monitoring workspace allows us to monitor the actual site system itself. So for example, we can look at the system status, so we can currently see how my site is behaving. Ticks are always good. Then what we have is we have our administration workspace, and the administration workspace is here to allow us to administer the site system itself. Anything that we click on here in the navigation pane or in the workspaces, what this gives us is this gives us a results pane. And in the results pane, if I just come back to my assets and compliance, what we have at this point here, if I highlight my devices, what we can see here is we can see the list view. And then what we have down at the bottom, depending on which object I've selected up here in my list view, I can then see down at the bottom my details pane. And associated with some of the details, what we have is we have additional tabs. These additional tabs give me additional functionality. What we also have, if we just click on the drop down triangle here, we can connect to a different site through the admin console. We can also connect to PowerShell. And if we connect to PowerShell through these buttons here, this also gives us the additional plugins used for Configuration Manager. What we then have is our home page. And on our home page, we have the home information. And then what we can see at this point here is we can see information relating to LON-CFG. And that's the end of this very quick demonstration as an overview of the Configuration Manager console. Thank you.